For first home buyers who can't get into the property market, have you considered rent to buy as a new path to property ownership? First of all, what is rent to buy? It's also known as rent to own. It's basically a scheme where you enter into a lease agreement that allows the tenant, which is you, to purchase the property at the end of the lease. It's sort of like vendor finance where, you know, I have the property, you got the cash to make repayments, but you don't have the deposit nor the capability to get a home loan. So as the landlord myself, I'll enter an agreement with you where you pay me a set amount of weekly rent, maybe a bit more on top for a set amount of period until you own the property, where then I will sign off the deed to you. It seems like a very creative solution, but let's go through the pros and cons. Start with the pros. If you've found a property that offers rent to buy, you get to live in that property immediately once you sign the contract, which means you get your foot into the house or unit that you want to purchase. You also lock in a price right now once you enter into the agreement while leasing the unit or the house. The cons are is you don't really own the property until the final payment and also at the final payment you still need to get a normal home loan to purchase the property. That's correct guys so if you were to enter into a rent to buy kind of scenario and for example the house was or the unit is $600,000 the rent to buy arrangement allows you to lock in this price right now and obviously you'll be renting or leasing but it's not just normal rent, you're also paying a bit of equity on top that progressively gets up to the 20% deposit. And then once the equity has come to a certain point, you get a final home loan to borrow at 80% to avoid mortgage insurance. Now in terms of the legal logistics of that, I probably wouldn't know what it looks like because I've never dealt with a rent to buy client or you know dealt with ones where they're coming to the final term and then I have to do like the 80% home loan and I guess this is like another con towards rent to buy I guess everyone will have a different private agreement between the landlord and the tenant for example when would you consider it a time where you can actually go and purchase the property and exit from this you know, rent to buy arrangement. And what if the property market tanks uh, and there's no actual equity uh, built up? Do you bloody keep forever renting? So while I'm kind of ignorant in that point, I'm not gonna say too much about it, but for those of you who are in you know, rent to buy arrangements, please enlighten me on you know, uh, how this all works. But I'll definitely say buy beware because this is kind of like a new concept and there's a lot of intermediaries and agencies that would strike out a deal between the landlord and the tenant yourself to do these kind of rent to buy. And they'll probably charge you exorbitant fees in between. So I would say apply discretion and to be safe, just bloody save money and go for a normal mortgage, you know.